a young prodigy of magic. The witch on a young age became a master of elements, harnessing the nature's power to burn, freeze, and stun their enemies. They have natural affinity with lightning and earth, which makes them able to summon the elementals themselves with a snap of their finger during awakening. They may be weak and fragile physically, but their prowess in magic makes them a huge asset and threat in a war. The Witch is a great class in PvE, combining the range of a ranger and the AoE skills of a giant. They farm fast and can clear a huge group of mobs in a few skills. The only thing keeping them from being the top farmer is the casting time and the animation delay for most of their hard-hitting skills, slightly slowing their kill speed capability. Still, it is considered to be one of the best classes in PvE and has a great sustainability with its heal skill. In small-scale PvP, the Witch however does not excel. Being fragile and having slow casting animation makes it an easy prey to other classes. It does have a range advantage and a quick teleport, making it an annoying class to fight against. Take advantage of those and couple it with your DOT from your fire skills and you can win some fights. But most of the time, it really is an uphill battle in 1 vs 1. Difficult but not impossible to win. In large-scale PvP, the Witch once again shines. The dodge that doubles as a teleport and the huge AoE and great damage makes it a major threat. They are like a ranged giant, with one key difference between the two is how they deliver their skills. Whereas the giant tanks everything while unleashing chaos, the Witch gracefully teleports in, blasts enemies with meteor or throws them with ice, then teleports out before anyone can react. Just know your limits and be attentive to your skills cooldown, and you will rarely die while piling the corpses of those you killed. The Witch also has an AoE heal, making it one of the few classes that can support their teammates during battle. The Witch may be a great magic user, but there are not really too many recommended choices for skill build. For PvP, I highly recommend those skills that give CC and or super armors on use to compensate with the Witch slow casting animations. This includes Thunderbolt, Best Opener and Counter Attack, that gives invincible state while casting and bound effect on hit. This skill combos with Farball, which is one of the bread and butter for witches in both PvE and PvP. A range damage skill, knockdown on hit, and a damage overtime effect. Using Thunderbolt first cancels some animation on Farball, making it cast a little bit faster. Another great skill includes Frigid Fog, Lightning Storm, and your ultimate skill, the Meteor Shower. All these skills give super armors while casting and CC on hit. Aside from that, the Meteor Storm also has a great DOT, but it is also the slowest one to cast and has the longest CD, so be careful when to use it. Healing Aura is also one of the must-have for witches, while Whirlwind is a good optional skill for classes like Giant that usually goes on a straight path. One tip for 1 vs 1 is to use your dodge or teleport efficiently, especially on classes which has grab available, as your super armor skills means nothing once you're grabbed. Try to bait them to use grab, then you can start trading blow for blow with your super armor skills. Also, always try to have a dodge bar ready before you commit in order to have a means to escape when situation gets bad. For PvE, all the PvP skills mentioned are good to use, but you may want to replace Meteor Storm as it is usually overkill. Arcane Bolt or Frozen Orb are great alternative source of damage. Black Desert is not really known for having a great set of equipments. But as usual, let's start with yellow gear which is the baseline while waiting for Shakatu to bless you with orange or red gears. Again, the best equipments are those with 2 slots, but we will be only talking about 1 slot equipments as those 2 slots are very expensive. For weapon, the best would be Elish, while Hashus or Elish are great for sub weapon. For helmet, go with Talis, while Rukaba or Dobart seems to be the best choice for armor, while for gloves and shoes, then go with Talis if possible. Prioritize to max out attack speed first, as it may be the difference between being able to cast your Meteor or being seized till Kingdom Come. Follow it by crit chance, crit damage, and movement speed. And finally, for branch effect, I usually go with Al that affects Arcane Bolt, Frigid Fog, and Lightning Storm, which are my main source of PvE and PvP damage. So that's it for now. Will you be playing as a Witch in Black Desert, or will you be playing other classes? Then stay tuned in the next video as we discuss the other classes in BDM. See you guys! Peace!